Welcome back to another ranked episode. Today I discussed quite a bit about the differences between game modes in Rocket League and the mindsets that you might have going into certain situations. There are mistakes that you might be making in your everyday gameplay in certain game modes, and in today's episode I address a few moments where a decision made in 1v1 might not be the best for 3v3 or vice versa. And as we go through the matches, keep an eye out for the differences in how I play and the decisions I make. As always, I'll do my best to explain my thoughts, and I thought today we'd just queue for every game mode and see what we get. I hope you guys enjoy, but now let's get into the matches. Alright, we got Sharif and ones. Let's see how it goes. He's a pretty sweaty 1v1 player, so. Let's see what happens. Stay grounded here. A nice chip around him. Might be open because, uh, oh, he might get it. Yeah, he pinched it out, but we should be able to get there before him. Go for a shot so he has to save it awkwardly. Just trying to stay at hold, keep hold of the uh, the pressure here. Got a nice demo. Got some space now. I don't want to shoot it right away because it's probably going to spawn one side that uh, he could save it. And by probably, I mean it's a 50% 50, 50 chance, so I don't know why I said that. It's uh, half the half the chance. If he goes spawns right like he did, he probably would have saved the, any ball that I shot on target there. So I didn't want to... I didn't want to, uh, you know, take that chance when we can secure a better position. And he's very low boost here because he's overcommitting. It's very common that everyone's very aggressive off those kickoffs. So I'd be a little bit careful with what he's going to do there. I, I kind of bumped him forward, so he tried to stay with the ball. But in doing so, he had no boost. What the heck? Bit of a keem stomp. I shouldn't have tried for that. It's very aggressive. This could just be in too, yeah. Um, I have the boost advantage there, so there's no reason for me to try and pop the ball high. Like, he has to go. So I could just force the ball low and, and play the fact that I have more boost. Stay with this here. He's got no boost, but he's faking the, the play. I'm going to try and... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I'm going to try and uh, force him in, but he kind of just missed the touch that he wanted. I have, I have a good amount of boost to at least keep that play going. That mid boost didn't spawn for me, though, unfortunately, so it's not going to work out. But we did get a good 50-50. I kind of saw that he was going to go early, so I tried to pop my, my car up a bit to get in the way. So far, four goals. We have a lot of the pressure. Once again, I don't need to go for that. That's the thing that I need to remember in, in ones. That it's better for me just to force him to give me the ball back. But it's like so ingrained in my head to just take that shot uh, from twos and threes. But you can, you, you can see how valuable that is when I back off. This is something I don't really do anymore because it's kind of a wasted play in, uh, in twos. I'm going to let him touch this ball because he's low boost. Oops. I kind of messed that up, my, my catch. And I also just gave him the ball. It's okay, though. We, got, we still got 30 boosts. Oh, he missed. That was a good play, though. He bumped me a little bit. I tried to like recover with going backwards there, but it would have been better for me just to drive forward, actually. We got half the game here. He can still easy come easily come back. It'll be a little careful. A good fake play on the bottom. Kickoff pressure. It's going to be a lot of options for him. It's hard for me to cover everything. He could have flicked that high. But honestly, I see a lot of players like faking the ball more often in, in ones. And it might be the play to just assume they're going to fake. And if they outplay you with a flick or something, they outplay you. Instead of looking like the fool instead, just play like the, the low shot or the fake shot. Hard to say, though. Let's be right on target here. I think he missed, yeah. I think I missed too. <laughs> That's okay though, I'll get the boost. Get the demo as well, and this should be open now. Nice. Yeah, so I, I should have definitely scored that open net. I had 12 boosts, I kind of didn't get the angle I wanted. I 
go for a fake play there. I couldn't really get a good uh, setup for a flip reset, so instead I just... Ooh, that's, that's a good play from him. Oh. Uh, instead, I just uh, went for a pop at the last second. You can see that that dunk did work out, but I kind of threw the, the possession in the corner. Still got most of the pressure, though. If he wants to stay with that, that's totally fine. He's very low boost. He's going to back off here. I'm going to waste time. We have only a minute and a half left. Fake him in the air. No way. That is annoying. He, he pre-jumped and then just kept flying towards me. I should have just let him do it and then back off. Because I tried to pop it over him, but he's going really high on it. I think I'm going to waste time here. He has to push into me, so... Stay with this if I can. Oh, he messed up his challenge. I don't know what happened. He kind of was like in a no-man's land a little bit underneath the ball. I didn't get the best flip reset, but he was in a, a weird position to defend that in general, so... His kickoffs are very weak against uh, the scrub killer kickoff. Like I'm just wasting all the time in the game here because there's no real need for me to score anymore. There we go. That's another 15 seconds off the clock from being back in our corner. Okay, and that's going to be the game. Oh, wow. I pressed Y for ball cam and it... it Put me back in the next game. So that's a 1v1 game. Hopefully we get a, a 2v2 or 3v3 game uh, for the rest of the video. But it's a pretty good first game. All right, we got 3v3 and we ran into the same uh, same guy. We got Sharif on my, on my team this, this time. It's pretty pretty good lobby. We got Knight, um, Sharif. I'm not sure who JK and stuff is, but here's JNAPS. Good play. It's off the wall for my teammate. Good. Let him play that out. There's no reason for me to try to make that play because it's just going to go to my teammate anyway. They touch it. Pop it over Martzi. That like discount Mertzi. North America. Keep that close behind him. I'll back out as soon as possible. Get the mid boost and see if I can support my team in some way in mid. Wasn't the greatest touch, but it does work out. Martzi's going to turn. I think my teammate jumped for that as well. Nice solid clear overnight. Shreve let that mid boost, which is really nice. Did not think that last guy was going to turn there. I thought one of the other teammates were going to try and cover that. Get behind here. Once again, nice solid clear, but they're going to have possession. Probably could have held on to that instead. But they threw it away as well. Nice flick. Miss. Bottom left corner. And there we go. Solid pass from uh, Sharif there. So far, pretty good. I, I think that um, I'm not, I've never really heard of Chicken. He hasn't really done much. He's only done two touches in the game. But um, he's, he's, he's made two really solid touches. The one challenge he got in the air was to hold off the pressure. Try and bump this guy as well. Um, but yeah, he's, we're playing pretty well as a team. At least scared them off. Chicken did miss, but faking. Don't touch that. Sharif's ready for it. Oh shoot! I thought that was the other guy. I would have, I would have taken way more time with that, but works out. I'm trying to get a bump on him. Close. Oh my god! I <laughs> was almost in. Should work out. That was close. I'll back off. Wait for Chicken to move forward. He's not moving forward. He was in front of me, so I just wanted to let him go. Marks is going to have this now. Alright, Jake is going to pop this back. So that Chicken's going to get try and close the gap, but it's def definitely going to get beat there. I'm going to wait in mid for Sharif. I see that he, he threw the ball away. Chicken has a touch. Still not a play I can really go on because Knight's going to have it first. Try to hit this off the corner so it goes in the mid, feeds to somebody. That works too. Ooh. Behind here, wait for Knight's touch. Pop it up for Chicken. 
And there we go. Nice, nice pass from him. Nice play. Let's get a chicken to be ready for that. I saw him on the right side of my my screen before I popped the ball, seeing that he was in position with boosts. If someone's moving around, then there is hard. It's harder to know if they're ready. But he's sitting there ready for. It. He's not trying to move around for boost pads or anything. So I knew I could pop that up pretty high and he would be ready. I'm gonna fake this because he's ready for it. It's a decent shot. Could be in. They own gold. Okay. Thursday mornings are interesting. <laughs> um, obviously, this is uh, pre-recorded, so it's, I think it's Saturday. Is it? Maybe? Saturday? Yeah, I think Saturday. It's hard with daily videos to know what my schedule is all the time when I'm recording things, but I'm trying to bump Knight here and get him off the ball. At least force him into a position he can't really get in the way, and Sharif has the ball for free. I'll wait for Knight to make a play here. Try and stay with this and block his clears. Bump Marty down and should be in. Nice. Yeah, we got a bump on the guy who was trying to make a, a touch off the uh, off the backboard touch that I, I did. I tried to block. Knight kind of made a bad clear. And then the open shot for Sharif. Don't break a rule one. Did someone break a rule one in this game? Is that karma? Interesting game. Move on to the next one. Hopefully we get twos now. I don't I don't know. We're queuing for everything, like I said. So hopefully we get a twos game. We got, we got ones and then, then threes. Finish it off of the twos would be nice. All right, we got ones again instead. We got it's Antics, who's a silver season one silver tournament winner. I don't, how do people do that, by the way? Like I don't know how people get those kind of titles when they're a higher level player, unless it's like a new account. Which it might be. It's a good shot. Get a lot of options once again off off kickoff pressure in one v ones. I probably could have played that a little differently to make him not have a, as good of a possession, but. Hard to say. I really go for that once again. Just that he's he's getting he's getting pressure off the uh, the fact that he's winning those boost grabs. I don't think I made a miss. No, unfortunate. Yeah, I just need to get more uh, pressure off kickoff. Like if I can get a if I can get a boost off the kickoff, then I'll I'll be able to do more than just sitting there. There we go. Now we have now we have possession. I'd be too fast for him. Yeah, nice. Yeah, just all it takes is like having boost off kickoff <laughs> and the ball. Whoever has pressure with the ball, it's just one v ones for you. He's gonna have a touch here, but that's okay. I stay with this if I can. Oh no way! He went for it anyway. He missed the boost, so I thought he was going to. Uh, thought he was going to back off, but one v one players do not do not stop going. So I should have I should have been ready for that. Oh my goodness! See what I'm saying? Doesn't stop going. Nice finish. He kind of owned gold, but obviously it was a pretty fast shot above his head. So he didn't quite get the touch he wanted. And he shot it like banger top right. Should get the boost here and the ball. Nice save. Nice little chip as well. Should be open. He's very low boost, so all I need to do is just pop that around him while he's challenging. A lot of players are doing that nowadays too, where they come out of the net as fast as possible to try and challenge, surprise the opponent. All you gotta do is just play around them for a second and uh, don't go for the direct shot on target. It's fine. I do beat him. Hopefully this is open. Nice. Yeah. Surprised him a little bit with that challenge in the corner because he was kind of pr pressuring for the boost and tr trying to keep with it, but I just... Picked up a lot of speed off the wall and got an early challenge over him. It's all about surprising your opponent. Let's see what he does here. I'm gonna Oh. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. <laughs> Stay with the ball. I, I should have known. I don't know why I didn't just pop that ball ball back to my net. I should have just went for the back corner. I would have beat him to both. I was hoping that he would just leave, because that's a smarter thing to do. I could have outplayed him there. But uh it's a really slow shot. 
that is that is one v ones, like I said. So early challenges, just constant pressure. It's an interesting game mode. This is why I don't play it anymore. I think that at the highest level, it's just random. But it is what it is. This boost should spawn in a second. There's no way he goes for that. <laughs> I think he got that boost too. That's going to be in my net anyway. Oh, good. I think he might have gotten that boost when it was just spawning, which is pretty lucky, but it did come out pretty late. Yeah, similar play here. I'm just going to go with the ball. I, I should have expected that. He's uh He's been sitting on the ground, and he's basically gotten scored on every time, so I should have expected that he was going to go for the early challenge. Instead, I should have just... Stayed with the air dribble and popped it over him because he was going really, really wide on the angle. Gonna do what he's doing and just be really aggressive. Was well, close. Wait, it's open. What just happened? Oh, he kind of threw that. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. He, oh, he just turned really wide. That was weird. Yeah, that was uh, that was an interesting play. He'll stay with it. That's okay. Probably open again because he's trying to stay with the ball and zero boost. It's just like so weird. This game mode is probably the worst of the three. Even though three uh, solo threes is mm, like objectively worse. Trying to get the boost from me here. Oh. Panicking a little bit. Interesting. Is he is he zero? Oh he is, okay. I don't I don't know. Dude. <laughs> this is why I hate ones, honestly. I just I just despise them. But uh you guys like me playing them, so I put it on the queue today. But it just seems like so random and there's not really any structure to the, the gameplay, at least in ranked. Oh, he's going to shoot this probably immediately. Yep. Try to make sure I uh, dodge the bumps. It's going in very aggressively there, so that way it pops out pretty far and I can follow it. He almost got outplayed by that that late touch. This guy's being so aggressive. Just get a solid shot on target. Pop it up once again because he's going early. It's a good save. But we've wasted all the time from doing that, so should be game here. Hey, he was going for that that bump play. And there we go. Nice, nice, uh, nice finish to the uh, the games. Definitely interesting uh, 1v1 games, like I said. I don't play them too often because I don't feel like I learn much. Um, but hopefully you guys learn something. I, I, th I think that there is definitely some learning uh, capabilities in 1v1s, uh, like for people who are still learning the game. I think at like a, a higher level, once you know what you're doing, I feel like it's good to go back and, and be consistent for a little bit. But the deci decisions you make in 1v1s are completely different to 2v2 and 3v3. And, you know, if you want to be consistent at one, you got you got to be really mindful of your, your adaptation to both game modes or like, you know, like ones or twos specifically, um, because it's a completely different mindset and the decisions you make and the fakes you do and stuff like that really determine uh, whether or not you're playing like a 1v1 player or a, or a 2v2 and 3v3 player. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one.